Hi everyone, so I know a lot of you are shooting on phones either as your main camera or sometimes just as the camera that you have in your pocket. So I want to show you these cool little holders from Joby. So these are suitable for any tripod. Right now I've got them connected to the uh, Action tripod from Joby, the Action Gorillapod. So here they are without the quick release connectors for the Joby head. So that is now super, super tiny and portable and just literally completely pocketable and then when you need to use it as a little stand even if you're not taking a joby thing with you that is a great little stand just you know you want to put it on a table or something and they seem to hold phones really well with or without a case i mean i think there is some limit to the size of the case but this seems to have quite a quite a lot of wiggle room there so this is a, sort of an iphone size a four inch screen something like that 4.5 inch screen and this is the smaller one from joby so they do this one, and then a small one, and then a medium one. Now I'd love to see Joby make a large one for tablets as well, because finding these for a good price and really high quality for tablets is difficult, especially ones that can fit in your pocket like this. It holds the phone really well. I'm actually, I've got my Galaxy attached to my arm right now with the medium size one, my Galaxy Note 2 with this really ugly case on it five point something inch screen, five and a half inch or something. I actually really like these. They hold the phone pretty well. I mean, it's, it doesn't feel like it's gonna go anywhere just under normal use. But I mean, so far, it, the phone's not falling out. Um, yeah, no, it's not falling out and it's not falling off my arm either. The reason I have it on my arm is actually just because I was surprised that it's holding uh, pretty well to my arm. These are the, uh, this is the hybrid, the Gorillapod hybrid, which is the same size as the Gorillapod Action. They're actually basically the same thing with different colors, but mainly the difference is that they come with different accessories when you buy them. So uh, yeah, both really cool, both really nice and strong for the price. If I was to buy these, these would be the ones I'd get for, well, I guess it depends on the, the price you find them at, but these are great for small lights and things like that. I use them for like accessory like lights, microphones and stuff. These ones, the uh, SLR Zoom, are also really affordable. They're actually really strong. These are decent for their size. I have not used the really tiny ones from Joby. So they make, they make ones which are actually pocketable. Whereas these are, I mean, they're pocketable, but they'll stick out of your pocket. I mean, they are really lightweight as well. So um, these are a good size for accessories, but they do have ones which are really, really pocketable, which I haven't tried. This is, this is a great size to go for, I think. This or the Action one. Uh, whichever one you find cheaper this is the, the hybrid so um yeah really nice and if you find them at the same price and you don't mind the size then this one's really lovely the slr zoom it's sort of uh, it's a great size a little bigger than this and stronger than the really expensive one they do the focus which is this so this is actually stronger you can you can see my comparison uh, down below really nice one if you don't mind a little bit of extra size and if you want a little bit of extra strength these are cool these are really nice for phones and stuff. I will want to get one of the really tiny Gorilla Pods to, to review as well. Recommended, I like this more than my metal one, which took a while to screw on and off. Not super long time, but these can just really quickly clip on your phone, which I really like. And, and they're much more pocketable and lightweight. And that's, I mean, that's holding pretty well. I wouldn't use this for like an action camera, but... Yeah, that, that seems to be holding. That's nice. Nice and strong. And potentially, if you wanted it to really clamp onto there, then you could add an elastic band to really press it down if you wanted to. I don't think that's really needed, but you know, an elastic band or a piece of string or something. And then if you wanted to use it with any photography tripod or video tripod, then literally just any standard tripod with a standard screw on there. That goes there. Lock that in place, like so, or however your tripod works, and that's it. And you can now make some videos. Whee! All right guys, thanks for watching. Visit my channel for lots more awesome filmmaking and photography videos, like lighting techniques, DIY projects, behind the scenes tutorials, cameras, lenses, adapters, shoulder rigs, stabilizers, flashes, LEDs, microphones, bags, straps, studio backgrounds, tripods, float heads, sliders, multi-tools, and lots more cool stuff.